Okay, what up, you guys? Um, I've, I don't know, I'd, I see everybody do a EDC video and whatnot, so I decided to kind of do one. Uh, simply because, you know, everybody has different things that they do with different ways that they carry it. So it's just, uh, just wanted to show my option or at least how I do things to kind of give people ideas or, um, you know, something they might haven't thought of or something that they might see that I'm doing wrong and kind of tell me, hey, you shouldn't try that or you shouldn't be doing that. So anyways, um, I have here, or besides my bag, I carry every day. Um, I have a couple things that I carry in my pockets. Um, one of them is I carry a cold steel recon. Um, it's an old knife. I've had it for quite a while now. It is worn out. You can tell by the blade a little bit. Um, it is kind of heavy. I think it's like about six, seven ounces, something like that. It's a nine and a half, almost nine and a half inches long. I mean, it's a big blade, but I used it from prying a car door open. Somebody locked their keys out or pried it open. Uh, breaking cans. I cut a small piece of wood. Um, metal, cardboard, pretty much everything around. I mean, it's been great. No complaints on it. It's just, it's heavy. I mean, it is a heavy knife compared to everything else. I mean, if you could use it as a blunt object and beat somebody with it, you know, besides stabbing them, you could probably beat them to death with it. But anyway, that's something that I carry. Um, I do carry the Mexpedition uh, Spartan wallet. I just got it. I have an old uh, wallet that I got from Cuba. Uh, an old camouflage one. I loved it, but it just wore out. And I started getting little holes in it. I got this wallet now. It's nice. It is a little squarish. A little fat in the middle. But you kind of get used to the feeling. But the way it's built and secured inside, it's great. I mean, I love it. It's like 20 bucks. So... Yeah, it's whatever, and it's OD green, so. Um, paracord, um, King Cobra Weave, green and black. Uh, I made this just for fun. I always carry this, always have this on me, so I have that. And then just a regular basic uh, G-Force watch that I have. And um, I love this thing, it's nice. It's a little bulkier, and so it kind of gets in the way a little bit. And sometimes if you're trying to stick your hand in something, but other than that, it's great. I mean, it's lasted to the beach. I've dropped it a couple times. Uh, I've actually been hit with something, and it I hit it and didn't do nothing to it. So it works, whatever. Um, I have a uh, Red Rock Outdoor Gear backpack. I paid $25. I got this at Sportsman Guide. I needed something just to, guys, I started getting more and more stuff, and I didn't want to leave behind at home or leave in the car. So it's a pain to go back and forth. So I bought it. It's 25 bucks. I've had it for about a year, maybe. I mean, it's a great little bag. It's nice. Um, it looks a lot like the Expedition ones, the Max, the Max Expedition ones that they make. Um, very similar design. You know, just single sling in the middle, so you can go left or right side. Um, same things with little rings, little straps on the side. The padding, you know, you could put something back there. Uh, it does come with a strap, so you can attach it to the side if you want to. I don't. It's sometimes it gets in my way, so I just I attach it to the back side, so I don't have to deal with it. Um, little carry little car beam where I put my work keys on there. A little more paracord attached to it. That way I know where they're at. At least my work keys. At least I can get in and get out of work. Um, in the bag, back here you know you can put a book, um, whatever you want back there. You can even put a gun. It's velcroed. But the bad thing about this bag, because it's twenty-five dollars, it's you get a, it's a twenty-five dollar bag. Don't expect this to last very long. I've already had some issues for the back it was starting to uh, rip, as you can see there. Uh, so I had to kind of restitch it a little bit there, and this side as well too. So it's starting to peel there. So, anyways, um, I mean it's not a bad bag for something as a daily beater, but. It's not going to last that long. Um, some sanitizer. A uh, little Zippo lighter. Just in case or whatever. I don't smoke, but I know people who do. And it's just a lighter. And I like the way they look and their feel. A little USB charger for my cell phone. Which i uh, got a Galaxy 2, whatever. So I can use that to connect it to it. Charge it to the computer. Um, that's it in that pocket. The bottom pocket. Um... Electrical tape, basic first aid kit, uh, alcohol seltzer, Aleve, Band-Aids, rubbing alcohol, a couple of gauze pads. Um, I got I bought the thing for like five bucks at Walmart, and the rest of the stuff I added in there as I go, you know, for whatever. Uh, the other part of the charger for the USB, if you want to charge that or something else. 
Uh, I got a little tiny light in here. It is uh, the Streamlight Keymate. Um, not bad. I mean, it's nice. Just extend there, or you can clip in your pocket if you want to. And it has a little strap, so you can just attach it in there or something else. Um, basic knife sharpener, um, the Smiths. Have the diamond plated one, the coarse and the fine side. It's okay. I mean, it's sometimes it kind of gets in your way depending on what you're sharpening, but it's better than nothing. The way I mean, it's better than than not having one. I mean, you could do it with a rock if you wanted to, worst case scenario, but it's something to I guess something else better. Um, pen, the Zebra 301s. I like these. They write well and they're metal, so you could hit something or stab somebody in a, in a self defense method. If you needed to, so and I like these. And you can buy the ink to you know, refill them, get more. Um, Sharpie, need to write on something. Um, just a basic, um, just a basic tool. If I got this at Walmart, you know, it's whatever. The pliers, the knife, little bottle opener. It's just something. I don't have the saw or the Gerber or Swiss Army, but this was like maybe eight dollars. So I'm like, what the hell? Just throw one in there. I don't care something that I can use um, some paracord uh, that's it in that pocket I like the zippers on this thing man they're great I mean they're, they're heavy duty I have no issues with that and I'm always strapped in on the side a uh, little top pocket up here I know some of the old models they said they had a patch here where you can add something or it had another molly going across this one only has one um, in here some more uh, hand sanitizer, you know, hey, you can use it to make a fire and stuff's flammable anyways. I got another little tiny multi-tool here. Um, I got this for free at work. It comes with a little light on it and everything else. Hey, you could always use another one. And it doesn't weigh anything, so whatever. Um, some chapstick, uh, a little nail clipper bottle opener, uh, another lighter in there. Oh, I have some stuff. In here, gum, you know, after work, uh, I mean after lunch or anything else like that, I want a piece of gun, whatever. Uh, in here, I do carry my gun, uh, Black Hawk holster, Glock 31, it is loaded, uh, Hydro Shop, uh, that's clear, and that, carry that in there, the magazine. Little side pocket here on the side. As soon as you open it up, I'm gonna leave. Any other the medicines I'll throw in there that I need, need a headache or whatever. Um, further inside, it's got a strap. If you can kind of see it. You can put it in there to secure to keep your stuff bandaged in there. And the back side here has another Velcro. You can add it to either side. Pull this up. Uh, carry a buck knife, um, just in case for whatever reason. If I need a bigger knife, uh, rain poncho. I love this thing. I used it a couple times. Ten bucks, Walmart, and it's lasted me. It's been a year now, and I've used it regularly. Getting in, out, you know, you're walking in the rain or whatever. Don't want to get wet. And in here, a little clip bar. Throw it in there. If you want a snack, you forget about it. Hey, you know, you don't have to buy anything. I got a little tiny thing in there. A uh, little headlamp with the red, the floodlights, and the full beam, and everything else. Um, and that's pretty much it for now. I haven't been able to put anything else in there because um, it's starting to get full. I could probably carry more stuff in there, but it's it's just jamming in there. I can't get to the gun fast enough if I need it. So it's um, that's kind of the reason why I want to get a bigger bag. But one of the things is this thing has ripped here open. So I've had to kind of stitch it back open. And in the front pocket in here, it's starting to tear here too. And some of these little, you know, rubber patches, they're starting to tear away from it. Can't really see them on the inside and down on the bottom. It's not a bad bag. I mean, I'm going to keep it till it falls apart completely. Probably use it as another, as a backup bag or something. But, you know, it's, it's not bad. It's 25 bucks. Come on. You know, they still sell them. They still, you know, people buy them still because you can use them. You know, if, if you're not going to carry this much stuff you're going to carry something else so you could just use it for that so whatever but anyways I just wanted to show my bag it's, you know the holes in the bottom and everything else Molly's on, the, Molly's on the side it does get pretty fat it doesn't get heavy even with this you can always carry with the handle 
and you can add attach my attachments to the side if you wanted to add anything else on both sides and a little web in here of course but anyways I just wanted to show that you know I got this bag for $25 didn't spend a whole lot of money on it you know you can carry your stuff with it but it's an option it's up to you what you want to carry in there but anyways that's my EDC uh, until until further notice uh, that'll be it for now